what this machine is. But a couple of people are going for it really, really hard. I don't know what the prize is in there. Check out the mess. This is all Cecilia stuff. Oh. Okay, anyways, the day has been pretty interesting so far. We started off with waking up, getting the aircon guy to come over, fix a couple things. No drama, no issues. And then the Cecilia decides to put a load of laundry into the washing machine. Then we can start to go out and get some breakfast. We came home, the washing machine was rotated 180 degrees because of all the vibrations. In fact, it rotated so hard, it scratched itself along the wall, yanked its own power plug out, and I pulled itself out of the drainage. Quite a hardcore washing machine. Washing machines don't do this. They're not supposed to be these autonomous moving machines. And I found out the reason for that was because my washing machine, when they came and installed it, Harvey Norman, I'm looking at you, they forgot to remove the transit bolts. Now, that's what I'm doing. Time to be a handyman. So the thing about being a homeowner, so I'm very quickly beginning to learn, is that it's not just about <laughs> buying furniture it's about being responsible when things don't work the way they're supposed to let me let me show you what you're talking about so this is the last remaining offender i'm gonna i'm gonna get you bro i got your number i got your number hard but i really should be getting ready to leave the house for for work but I know that if I left now, this thing would just be bothering me all day. My god. There we go. Come on! Ah! Sure, this is tedious and it was a bit stressful, but I do enjoy the process of getting numb the things in the house better. Like appliances and washing machines. It's a final understanding of how everything works. Fuck off! Damn you! It's such a small space. So much resistance. Come out! Come out! <sighs> I must confess, I've never had to do anything of the sort. I belong to a generation of individuals that have had stuff done for them all my life. I feel like an adult now. Interesting how a couple of bolts in a washing machine will do that for you. Now time to get ready. So, in case you didn't know, or I may not have mentioned it in the vlogs yet, um, I've recently been doing a kind of like a once a week show on an online radio station called AFO. Uh, you can check it out on AFORadio.com. AFORadio.com. Um, and I do a show on it called Game On. It's, it's all about gaming, man. We do stories on video games, new releases, or you random bits of trivia. But the show happens every Thursday, 8 till 10 p.m., which is exactly where I'm going to do now. I'm gonna go into the studio to record the show. And um, for the first time ever, the first time ever, I am going to have a guest today. Getting guests is kinda of cool, because it's always a little bit more exciting to have somebody on the show along with you. Because everything goes well. AFO HQ. That's Joanne in the studio doing that thing. Ta -da! That's Eric. I like this because you do your finger. Door opens. Hello, Eric. Eric here is the uh, my go-to guy for basically making sure I don't mess up. Like I do everything I do, I run it by Eric. Eric, can I like press this button? They'll say no, that I won't touch it. Or like Eric, I need help. No, make sure everything happens. Eric is like 80% the show. I just open my mouth and talk. So the AFO studios are in a mall, which is great because if I'm late and the guests are here early, they can actually walk around and look for stuff. So I found out my guest is here somewhere. Don't know where. I have to find them. What's up? What's up? <laughs> it's like stuck up. Yeah, I know, right? Like, I'm here to rape you. I mean, should I can I make rape jokes? Is it? No. No, we can't? We're in the wrong section. I'm here to Logan Paul you. Mm. <laughs> Say hello to the guests for today, Nick and Michelle. These are my friends, the founders of Endeavor, and uh, basically very appropriate for today's gaming show, lah. 
And this is the pre-show uh, tea life juice up. It's not even juice. Drink up. Yes. Milk up. It's juice. It's milk up. It's juice. It's cow juice. <laughs> <laughs> we will do the show now and uh, we'll see you in a little bit when this is all said and done. A few moments later. And we're done! How was the whole experience? It was fun as always. Hey. You, you guys can feel free to come back anytime. It's a lot easier to talk to people than to myself sometimes. Sure, sure. And, and here's the thing that most people don't know about running a show. When you have guests in, you don't have to do as much prep sometimes. Especially if you know them, because you just like talk about anything under the sun. So today was a lazy day for me. Yay! 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 Yeah, for Jeremy, lazy day! Yay. Jeremy does his best work when he's being lazy. He's the best! Yes. That's how you get so Michelle is Michelle is having trouble getting the onigiri out of the onigiri pack, but I feel like at this particular moment it is um, prudent that I mention that Michelle is also an Oxford grad. <laughs> so instructions on the pack and her instructions on the pack. So this is what they say, you know, a college education, university education can't teach you the street skills you need to survive. That's she right. could write a kick-ass PowerPoint presentation, That's right. but she can't get a damn onigiri out of the plastic. That's right. What's the more of the story here? Don't have to go to university. Eat more onigiri in uni. There is definitely a market for onigiri 101. So this machine is really interesting. You put in 10 bucks, you get a box. And on in the box is a random prize. It could range from anything. You could also get like a PlayStation or iPhone 10. And it does look like there's this couple on the side that seems to be really going for it. Like the guys running the machine. This guy here and this guy here. It looks like they're feeling a, a little bit worried right now. It's this guy here who looks like he means business. He looks like he's about to wipe out the whole machine. And the whole machine is bought. See, when I put money into machines, it's for parking. Also, halfway through that whole thing, um, they they ran out of small change. So they asked if anybody had a change for a fifty, and I said, and I obviously looked in my wallet. I wanted it to be helpful. I looked in and I said, oh no, I only got forty ringgit. The girl was like, nah, take fifty, give me your forty, and I'm like. Oh wow. <laughs> so I guess the real winner out of the whole thing was me. <laughs> Moral of the story, don't blow the bank trying to win an iPhone from one of those machines. I've seen it being attempted and I've come to the realization that the odds are definitely against you. <laughs>